we shall gather at the river with each other. You're my brother. And if I so put in the water for the healing of each other. We had a tremendous diaspora. And so for us to have ended up in 47 different states and to have our community just kind of blown apart was, was absolutely devastating. So for me, the homecoming is just everybody coming back. For me, it's just um, the joyful return of our, of our people. I'm coming home. Now I have a home. Before it was just a house that I was trying to rebuild. Now I can actually turn that key and say, okay, I'm coming home. Project Homecoming is the disaster recovery ministry of the Presbytery of South Louisiana in the greater New Orleans area. This ministry is a partnership with Presbyterian Disaster Assistance. It provides coordination and housing for volunteers, construction management for home rebuilding, and helps displaced families to return home. Project Homecoming is allowing us to to come face to face with people who desperately want to come home but don't have the resources to come home. They don't have the family to help them rebuild, they don't have insurance money, who basically, when they saw the floodwaters, basically thought, gee, I have no hope. Project Homecoming um, is, is rebuilding New Orleans one house at a time. The amount of resources that it takes to rebuild a home, um, it, it's just not attainable for some people. You know, they could hire a contractor. It would cost them um, three times what our estimate is. What Project Homecoming does is we provide, uh, we provide construction management for the project. We consult with the homeowners about making decisions and prompting them to, to make the decisions that, and ask them the right questions about what they want for their rebuild. And then the homeowner uses those resources that they have and they get a home in a timely fashion. This collective effort has brought new life to empty neighborhoods, bringing communities back home by home, and family by family. It takes just one or two, I guess you would say, courageous or brave homeowners to return to a desolated area. Once they start returning and they start seeing people in and out of the neighborhood, working on houses, bringing materials in, um, just it just brings an energy and enlivens that area. I think that for homeowners, the people, the people for whom we're doing this work, it really helps, helps them to tell their stories week after week. If you've ever been with a homeowner who's started off going back and looking at the destruction of the house, it becomes so overwhelming mm -hmm. that we've had people who've just been um, stopped, who've been stalled and not able to move forward. And then people come and help. The movement is happening on a grassroots mm -hmm. level. We're still hoping to get people back. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking too. Because I think that we every, got back, every, they could do every it. Every home it's that doable. gets mm -hmm. done on a block brings more people. Mm -hmm. They used to say that New Orleans was the city that care forgot. Mm -hmm. So we don't feel like that anymore. Mm -hmm. We feel like we, we're remembered. Or we're whatever. living proof that care didn't forget us. <laughs> people didn't forget. <laughs> right. As Project Homecoming works alongside them, displaced families mm -hmm. are finally coming home and reconnecting with their communities. There was one family that was living in Houston um, with their children, and so they wanted to come back and for two years were struggling and struggling to try to make that happen, and we were able to help them put their home back together. I was at work, got the phone call. Are you sitting down? Presbyterian Church said they're going to totally redo the house and get us back home. No, you're kidding me. She goes, nope, they just called and they said, we're we going to be were, one of the we first projects, and I'm going. To be one of the first five. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. For them, it probably seemed like there's no hope that we're going to be back. Because that was already a year, and right. all we have was studs. Right. It's like the first day dropping them at school. It's like Picking the first them. thing they do is look out the car and go, oh, oh there's so-and-so, oh, there's so-and-so, and they start naming all the kids they hadn't seen over two years. The happiest day for them was picking them up from school that first day. It's like a puzzle everybody did their little yeah. part and then it all came together at the end. Mm -hmm. Even though some people might say, 
they might just go. The little part didn't make any difference. <laughs> but, right, but everybody's part made a whole lot of difference. Homecoming is more than just four walls and a roof overhead, but is giving life back to family. Giving me life again. Like I say, I never thought it would have been possible for this to get done for me. But for the Presbyterian, they made it possible for me. This is the thing that keeps me going because I know one day we'll be complete. And as long as I know, you know, I can make it. When I first get home, I'm gonna thank God for being back home, okay? I'm gonna relax because I've been out of tension for, what, two years? Cook me a good meal, and I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I might do my dance, <laughs> okay? There was one woman on the Mississippi side who, um, who when, she, when she would tell her storm stories, it started one way, um, and then as she, as she worked with PDA more and more, as she, as she sort of had this growing Christian community, that, that the story changed so that it was like, it was God, it was, it was all the things that saved her were God, you know, and, that, and all these different ways that God is working in her life. And so these stories change as the, as the, as the, the homeowner changes. And I think that the groups that come in really do help with that, that therapeutic telling of the story. The home dedication is a culmination of this collective effort. Staff from Project Homecoming, volunteers, churches who have supported the effort, and the homeowners gather to celebrate and give thanks. Gifts are presented, scripture is read, and words of celebration from all over the country are shared. We have quilts that come from churches around the country, and there's especially Presbyterian women's groups. In the dedication, we're always lifting up God being in our midst, and that God's been in our midst and continues to be in our midst through the process of rebuilding. So the quilt is a reminder of all these different patches of people who've come back together, been involved with the rebuilding from various locations, and how we're together collectively. Um, stitched together in many ways as one family. When you get your house back together and you say, you know one thing, and you walk in, do I deserve to be in this house? You know, do I deserve to actually open the door and walk through these rooms? I took this whole house back from Katrina. Katrina may have took it for two years, but I tell you, you know one thing, I'm not gonna let her keep it. And it just takes a little bit at a time. It's not one room. I painted that one wall, or I painted that one door or hung that one set of curtains. Every day you do a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and before you know it, you have the living room like, you know, I have mine, you know, back. <laughs> you know? Through Project Homecoming, churches and presbyteries have partnered with particular families, sending volunteers and funds for building materials, while also exchanging prayers, letters, and photos. Work teams come from around the country and discover their lives are changed forever as lasting relationships are built and faith is deepened. On Naomi's house, we, we made a decision that we really wanted to help get it from start to finish. So we kept coming back and, coming and that's back. the key. You, you gotta keep coming back and providing whatever's necessary. But it's not about really us, it's about getting people like Naomi back in their homes as quickly as possible. The majority of the People will volunteer. Of the construction and recon the, the demolition at first and then the reconstruction was all by volunteers. And that's, that's the key to getting people like Naomi back into their homes. It is. Is to get the volunteers to keep coming in to these homes and helping. Yeah, I've been here 35 years and I know this as home. So um, they made it possible that I can come back home and I am so grateful and it is also special that we will celebrate Thanksgiving in our home.